In today's health alert, new weight loss drugs have become so popular that demand is outpacing supply. But that's not the only issue. Doctors are now emphasizing the potential health risks that come with these drugs. So we turn to our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us this afternoon. And Dr. Nandy, tell us about the drugs. Are they serious? What's happening? Yeah, it's all over social media. I was, yeah. We were talking about this. Three particular drugs became very popular due to unintentional weight loss in patients. But two of them, called Victoza yeah. and Ozempic, are only approved to treat type 2 diabetes. They were first approved back in 2005, and then came along Wegovy. Now, this drug is specifically FDA approved for chronic weight management in folks with obesity. What it does is it mimics a hormone that decreases your appetite. And then clinical trials found that Wegovy could reduce body weight by about 15%. So no surprise that last fall, not only did Wegovy start having intermittent shortages, but so did the diabetic drug Ozempic. Uh, now, what people don't realize is that there can be unpleasant side effects like nausea pain at the injection site, and inflammation of the pancreas. Also, kidney, liver, diabetes, cholesterol, and electrolyte testing need to be done every three to four months, all important. Besides all that, a new study found a very concerning link between these drugs and thyroid cancer. Researchers found a 58% higher risk of developing thyroid cancer in patients with type 2 diabetes that took these types of drugs for one to three years. So it's something to, to look at. Thyroid cancer is no joke. Correct. Yeah, so how, how long like can you take this without any effects or serious effects happening? Yeah, I'm glad we're talking about this, yeah. right? So there's several types of thyroid cancer. Most of them grow slowly, but a few types can be aggressive. You know, symptoms to look out for include a lump you can feel on your neck, difficulty swallowing, swollen lymph nodes, and pain in your neck and throat. The good news is that most thyroid cancers, Glenda, are highly, highly curable, and the five-year survival rate is 98%. Now, I want to stress that just because a person is taking Victoza, Ozempic, or Wegovy does not mean you're going to get thyroid cancer, but it's certainly something you should be aware of and talk to your doctor concerning your personal risks. Listen, obesity is a chronic disease, and it's associated with very serious causes of death, like heart disease, stroke, diabetes, plus an increased risk of certain types of cancer. So the length of time a person takes Wegovy or a, simple, or a similar type of drug should be weighed against the risk of not taking the drug. For some folks, this could be a medication they take for the rest of their lives. Researchers found that people who take Wegovy ended up regaining two-thirds of their weight mm. that they'd lost after they stopped the drug, something to think about. But what works for one person doesn't always work for another. So again, it's really important to talk to your family doctor about you know the pros and cons and, and what you need to really do. And also it's important to know you've got to also do the right stuff, like eat a healthy diet and, and, and daily exercise. And importantly, you can't get all your information on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook because everybody looks great on there. Right, and even if you take the drug, you have to change your habits. Absolutely, it's okay. part of a healthy diet and not okay. just you take it and everything will just poof, go away. And we have to know what the health risks are. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. As oh, my always, pleasure. appreciate I've, having you. Of course. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.